What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining. So today we're gonna to be talking about websites. We're gonna get into a few simple tips and tricks that are gonna help you stand out in the market, make it easier for people to navigate your website and book with you, and a few little things that are gonna hopefully help you book the higher paying jobs that you want to book. So, thanks for joining, now let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that people need to feel when they get on your website is that you are about them, not about yourself, okay? I know it's super easy to overlook and think that you need to list all your gear, list all your qualifications, make some crazy deals on your homepage and stuff like that, but really, it goes a long way if someone goes to your website and immediately feels like you understand them and that you want to make them more successful. And that by working with you, that's gonna happen. So let me show you my landing homepage and how I've done that. Okay, so you might notice it's really, really simple. All it is is it's just got a video background, basically my reel of all these cool, interesting shots that are a little bit unique to the market. You've got your navigation tabs. So you, if you're interested in photos, you can go straight there. If you're interested in videos, you can go straight there. Learn a little bit about what we do. And if you want to connect, you can just go ahead and click that on the top. You can also check out my social media. And the thing that I did that's a little bit unique is I put a quote there that kind of explains what the business is trying to do. So it says, we make modern content for the best realtors. This could say anything, but basically my goal with saying that is you kind of qualify your clients saying like you want to work with the best realtors and it shows that you, your primary goal is to make content that's modern. There's a lot of real estate video and photo companies that are super, super outdated and are not keeping up with the times with new technology, new styles of videos, new styles of photos. So basically one line says a lot. It helps people identify with your brand right off the bat. And then they can go from there and see whatever they're interested in. Obviously you could make this different for any type of industry and quality level that you're gonna be promoting yourself to. But what I wanted to do is have more of like a boutique feel to where it's like more luxury agents, travel industry, and kind of lifestyle branding is more of my specialty. So that's what I wanted to show on this page. All right, now let's talk about the sub pages. So for video, here's what I've got. It just has a big headline that says, get people talking about you and your brand with our lifestyle videos. Another thing that clients can identify with, okay? Instead of talking about how awesome I am, how awesome my camera gear is, that I'm gonna shoot in 4K, 8K, or something crazy like that. Uh, we just kind of address that we know what their needs and wants are, and that we can provide that. So instead of talking about all the details and stuff like that, we're talking about the results. And that's really what people want when they're hiring for this type of industry. And then it has a little subtext that says, video marketing is the way to stand out and raise awareness about your brand. Just to add on to that, that's what people want, okay? And it shows that you know a bit about marketing and the industry and how effective video marketing actually is, because it is. You could also have some examples of like full projects on here too if you wanted to but i just wanted to keep it simple and so so this is all i've got so for the footage that i included in this reel it is showing some just kind of cool modern lifestyle footage with people with cars uh just some cool details that most people don't really include in their videos and i also wanted to show some different locations and landscape types so i've got footage from houston austin some places like that uh, just to show that if you wanted to book me for travel industry type of stuff that i could do it All right, basically the same thing. I just have a really good photo right there, first thing when you go to the page, and it says, stand out on your social media and MLS with our photography. So the goal with that is to show that 
you're not just thinking about listing photos only. You're thinking about them as an asset to their brand. And that's unique. That's unique for real estate industry. Most companies are not really doing that. I also put get the most from your investment across all platforms. Just kind of seeding that idea that I'm thinking about the bigger picture for them, for their brand, and they don't have to worry about that if they're working with me. Okay, and so throughout all of this, you wanna keep them thinking about themselves and how beneficial it's gonna to be to them if they work with you. So I wanted my photo album to look more like a magazine, more like ads, more like stuff that they would see and think was cool. So it's not just typical real estate photos, it's more like editorial style and custom. And that's bringing it back to that quality, uh, just little things that people associate with that. So like fancy soaps or like a really fancy pool looking down, some photos that kind of look like they'd be in a magazine is what I was going for. And a little tip, um, most people are gonna be viewing this on their phone. So I cut them to be vertical to also show more screen real estate on their phones. And that's what really matters. People can't see the details if it's a little tiny horizontal cropped 100 megapixel photos, doesn't really matter. All right, so that brings me to a point. Make sure your website is mobile oriented, okay? It can look great on your desktop, but a lot of people are just gonna find your link on your Instagram or get it shared to them from text or something like that or find it on Facebook on their phone. And if they pull it up and it looks like trash on their phone, you know, it might as well not even be there. All right, so the next page is huge, okay? So it is your offerings, okay? Having a page like this is gonna help you speed up time communicating with people. You're not gonna have to be constantly emailing them. Here's what I offer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're just gonna be able to go to your page and see here's what my main offerings are. And obviously they can ask you if they want something custom or whatever. So here's what I put and let me explain why I put it in the order I put it in, okay? So for real estate specifically, most companies have like a million different package deals and their booking pages are super confusing. So I wanted to make this really, really simple. So what I did is I put my favorite type of booking that costs the most money first. So the reason is that sets the baseline for what they're imagining themselves booking. So it's got photos, it's got videos, it's got lifestyle photos, everything's included and that's awesome. So they're gonna get excited about that, reading that, and then next is gonna be the second favorite thing for me. The second most expensive thing as well. So you go most expensive, second most expensive, and then least expensive. So we've got the video package. So it's got video, it's got a social media video. That's it, okay? So now they're imagining, oh, maybe I wanna add that to a listing or something, and they'll book that instead. Okay, and then now we've got the least expensive thing, the most basic thing, but still a great offering. Okay, so we got photos, we got lifestyle photos that they can use for their social media. That's it. So by the time they get to that one, they're gonna be thinking, oh man, I could totally use a really cool video too. Ah, that'd be a bummer if I just got photos. Ugh. And that's how I that's how I worded it too. So I've got full campaign, just video, and just photos. So subconsciously, that's making people think like they're kind of missing out if they don't get the full package, which is true. I mean, that's gonna be the best deal. Because it's a package, it's gonna be the most bang for their buck. It's gonna be the most exposure on social media and it's gonna be the most impressive for their clients and future clients. So really it is the best deal for them and organizing it this way just kind of helps reinforce that subconsciously, okay? As far as pricing goes, I don't put it on my website. I want people to email me with specific projects and give them quotes based on that. This is mostly for new clients. Uh, obviously, if you're doing a repeat client, they're not gonna go to your website and fill out a questionnaire every single time they book you, but it just kind of helps qualify who you wanna work with and what types of projects they're gonna book you for, and you can set up some expectations at the start. 
Okay, so last we've got the connect page. So what this is, is basically I went through a bunch of emails of new clients reaching out and asking about services and kind of condensed it into a few questions that are gonna help me save a lot of time going back and forth with people, explaining stuff, them explaining stuff to me. Basically, you just wanna set this up to where you're getting all your questions that you need to know up front before you can give them a quote out of the way without having to send anybody an email, okay? They're just coming to you, they're answering your questions in their first email, and you can give them a quote, save you time. You're gonna find out what they're interested in, you're gonna find out how soon this project is, and you kind of set some expectations for how far in advance people need to book you for, and what type of industry it's in. So this is one of the reasons that I don't have the pricing is because I am targeting this website towards luxury agents, normal agents, travel industry people, Airbnb people, resorts, whoever comes to it and needs this type of stuff. So you're gonna have different rates depending on what industry it is and how widespread the use is gonna be for licensing. So if you're doing just a listing, that's a super temporary short-term need for your photos. But if you're doing photos for like a hotel on the other side of the world, and they're gonna use them for like a commercial, for their website, everything, uh, it's just different. So you need to have pricing accordingly. Also on this page, I mentioned where I'm based, but I also love traveling, cause it's true. I'm not based in Houston anymore, I'm in Virginia, but if you're watching this and you want to book someone to fly to where you are, uh, feel free to email me. I've got my email on my YouTube channel. Um, would love to talk about it. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I made this on Squarespace. It was super, super easy. Uh, their platform is super user friendly. And the main thing that took me a while was just figuring out what photos I wanted to use and what like colors and fonts and stuff I wanted to keep in there. But they've got a lot of templates that are super nice looking for portfolios and stuff like this. They automatically rescale depending on what size screen you're looking at it on. So desktop, mobile, whatever. Yeah, I'm working on a new website for myself. Uh, I'm doing a little bit different stuff now. So this one's not live, but I figured I would share it with you guys because I know a lot of you guys follow my channel for real estate content and you all need websites. So good luck. <laughs> It takes a little bit of time, but it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run and make you look a lot more professional and all that stuff. So if you got any more questions, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.